The Roman Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn is challenging Governor Cuomo's COVID restrictions in federal court. The diocese is asking the judge to allow more than two dozen churches to reopen in COVID cluster zones. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is live outside the diocese in Windsor Terrace. With an update for us, Ali, any decision? Well, Dana, the Roman Catholic, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn is making its case to a federal judge right now that churches should be considered an essential service and that they're being unfairly penalized for the noncompliance of others in COVID hotspot areas. Inside St. Athanasius and Bensonhurst, every other pew is blocked off with tape to encourage social distancing. That's one of several measures the Roman Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn says all of its churches have taken to operate safely at a quarter capacity during the pandemic. But that was before Governor Cuomo's executive order went into effect last week, limiting capacity for 28 churches in Brooklyn and Queens to just 10 to 25 people. If they were willing to follow the rules, why not follow them now? Because this rule is not as harsh as the previous rules. Remember, the previous rule was total shutdown for churches and synagogues. This is not a total shutdown. While last week a federal judge denied the diocese's request for a temporary restraining order against Cuomo's edict, the judge encouraged the diocese to apply for today's preliminary injunction. Writing in part, the governor of New York made remarkably clear that this order was intended to target a different set of religious institutions and that the diocese appears to have been swept up in that effort despite having been mostly spared, so far at least, from the problem at hand. This is our health care leadership saying there's a clear and present danger. It must be addressed aggressively. The suit was expedited yesterday sick. after Cuomo threatened to withhold state funding for establishments violating lockdown orders in light of some borough park yeshivas refusing to close their doors. In Rockland County, three shuls are also filing their own lawsuit to reopen, arguing religious freedom. Public worship is not a non-essential activity. It is an activity protected by the United States Constitution. Well, one witness the court heard from today was the former commissioner for New York City's Office of Emergency Management, Joe Esposito, who has been leading the diocese's efforts in establishing safety protocols for churches during the pandemic. We're live in Windsor Terrace, Brooklyn. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. Thank you, Allie.